You guys know what to do. Go out and execute fundamentals, details, and get it done. Welcome back to Pit Beyond the Script. Coach, Boston College on the road for the first time this season. How do travel arrangements change? Do you guys get to bring extra players on the road with you? We're allowed to bring extra players on the road. You know, we'll bring the necessary players that we need. Uh, sometimes too many is, is, is a bad thing too. We've really tried to cut down who we're taking on the road um, because of space on airplanes. We want to be able to spread our kids out as, as much as we can on the airplane. So there's a lot of details, you know, for the first time that we're going to deal with. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. Coach Halfley, Coach Signetti, both former Pitt assistants have Pittsburgh ties. You mentioned in your press conference, but is a little bit more of a mental game this weekend for you guys? You know, I, I don't think so. Um, you know, it becomes maybe a little personal. They know Pittsburgh, they've been in the city, they played at Heinz, you know, uh, they've been here, but you know, it's a football game and, and you know, the players play the game and the coaches stand on the sideline and, and watch, you know, our work is done during the week. Um, and then, you know, make sure the kids are prepared to go out there on Saturday and make plays. Coach Halfley, a former defensive coordinator at Ohio State, you must be familiar with him though, because you don't have much game film to watch other than these past couple games that they've played, Chapel Hill being, UNC being one of them. Um, do you look back at some of his time there? No question about it. You know, we'll go back and watch Ohio State tape. Uh, we'll pull a lot of things from what they do there and then take the stuff from 2020 season, their three games so far, um, and, and, and try to formulate a great game plan. They like to pass the ball. Redshirt sophomore Phil Dracovic is definitely the feature of this offense. How will you guys prepare for him defensively and with your Rocks team? You know, it won't be easy to prepare for uh, for Phil because he's a different guy. He's, he's tall, he's strong, he's physical, he can run, and he's got a, you know just a quick release and a, and a cannon for an arm. So he's uh, he's you know certainly won a lot of football games in the city of Pittsburgh. So I'm glad we're going up to Boston. Uh, he hasn't quite won as many games up there as he has in, in the city of Pittsburgh and in the surrounding area in the Whippeal. But, you know, an outstanding player, you know, we're just going to have to emulate what he does, you know, during practice and, and uh, give our guys the best shot to go there and, uh, and be victorious in Boston. They have a good linebacker core, a good defense. You're familiar with Richardson, McDuffie, uh, number 14 and number 55. If you're just used to watching film, that's usually how the players refer to them. So just strategies for that and what kind of defense you guys are going to be facing. You know, it's a different front this week that we're facing. We've been, you know, for the last three weeks really facing a three down front. We'll be facing a four down, which is very similar to our defense that our guys see every day in practice. Uh, so, you know, that, that'll be different. It'll be an advantage, I think, for us. We got to go block them and, and uh, we got to play great defense. And finally, like we said, you're on the road, but you're one of two teams in the ACC that has gotten to play four games, mostly canceled because of COVID or postponed or rescheduled. How beneficial is that to have that game time experience compared to most teams? Well, it's nice to get the games in number one. I mean, it's, you know, everybody said in the summer, we want to play, so we had to earn the right to play. And, you know, I'm just, you know, proud of our kids, the way they've acted off the field. And, uh, you know, our kids have made the sacrifices to get to this point, and, and we hope we can make it to game five. It speaks volumes, though, to UPMC, the kids here, the coaching staff. I mean, sacrifices all around. No question about it. And again, we, you know, we're fortunate to have the, you know, the medical field behind us. UPMC, our doctors and trainers have done an incredible job. Well, we look forward to Game 5 this Saturday, 4 o'clock, at Boston College. Best of luck, Coach. Thanks, Casey. Thank you. And thank you for watching this edition of Pitt Beyond the Script. Hey!